In this video, we get you to understand the equivalence between a transition function and a state transition diagram. When using Turing machines, state transition diagrams such as the one shown below and their associated transition rules can be expressed as transition functions. We use this symbol here to denote a transition function. And the format of a transition function is as below. Current state and current input symbol equals next state, output symbol and movement. So let's take this Turing machine represented by this transition state diagram below and come up with the transition functions. So here's a function s3 comma 0 equals s4 comma 1 right. In English it reads, if the machine is currently in state 3 and the input symbol read from the tape is 0, then write a 1 to the tape and move right to state 4. You can see now how we can easily represent a set of transition rules for a given Turing machine easily as either a state transition diagram or a set of transition functions. These two things are totally equivalent and you expect to be able to generate one from the other in an exam. One last thing you need to be able to do in the exam with Turing machines is be able to hand trace a simple Turing machine example. You should be able to hand trace it from either a state transition diagram or a set of transition functions. So if you're provided with either of these in the exam, you should be able to trace the flow of the read-write head, showing how the contents change at the various points and where it ends up. Work through this example on your own to make sure you understand how this hand tracing comes from this example here.